this is this. It's June 7th, 2012, and you are watching Austin Beloved Perry logging in Hallucination Nation. I said Hallucination Nation, baby. Hallucination Nation. Woo! A show where Perry explains that you, my friend, no matter how smart you are, are believing some things that are totally false. Believing some things which, one might say, were pulled from the butt of Republicans. Is that gross? I'm sorry. Sometimes I just have to gross you up to bring you back to reality. This is the Perry Logan Show that tries to deprogram you, tries to tear the veil of illusion from your eyes. My friends, there is no economic recovery. <gasps> On the contrary, we're living in a great depression. Obama is not a Democrat. On the contrary, he is a neocon posing as a Democrat. Drone strikes are not cool. On the contrary, drone strikes are strictly illegal. They constitute murder and they are killing countless innocent people and creating terrorists all over the world. Welcome, 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 welcome to Austin's beloved Perry Logan in Hallucination Nation! Hallucination Nation! Ah, you've been watching movies again, huh? Now give me stuff. I'm sorry I'm so close to the camera, <laughs> but while the director's away, the mouse will play! <laughs> I notice you've been watching movies again. You've been watching movies too much, and now you can't tell the difference between reality and fantasy. My God, what next? Are you going to start thinking that death panels are real? Are you going to start thinking that we're in an economic recovery when no less an economist than Paul Krugman says, Stop this Stop depression! This depression. That's right. Paul Krugman says we're in a depression, and so does Perry Logan, okay? I think that proves I'm not insane. I may get a little too close sometimes. Maybe I get a little too intimate. But we're in an economic depression, and you thought we were in a recovery. This proves you're living in a world of fantasy. <gasps> You're living in an hallucination nation. Oh! oh! <laughs> all right, all right. Hallucination nation. I hope you're not feeling disoriented. You're looking kind of disoriented here. Perry. <laughs> oh. I am I'm only trying to deprogram you. This Perry Logan show despite its, its antic nature, is a show which is trying to deprogram you. Uh, it's driving me nuts with you people whom I love. You people are believing all this stuff that's false. And, you know, I'm not even talking about the political right. <laughs> those bunch of white guys, those white degenerates, the right, those traitors, the right, those total degenerates, Republicans, right wingers, fascists, traitors, ah! I just, I'm sorry, Mr. Logan has just made an allusion to the political right. Blah! Blah! <laughs> okay. Now they live one big hallucination, okay? I'm not even gonna, I'm not even talking about the bloody political right in this show. I hope you get that straight. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not talking about them. They believe all kinds of just like insanely bizarro world stuff. Yeah, that's like taken for granted. It, it, I'm not talking about them. Apparently, right-wingers go off and repeat their weird little lies. 
they pull things out of their butts and then believe them. This is a capability that only the right has. Those bloody traitors, those bastards, they stole two presidential elections. We're gonna fight. The left and right are gonna fight, all right? Mr. Logan has just made reference to his conviction that the left and right are gonna fight. What a book, huh? Okay, okay, well, I'm not talking about the right. I mean, these people are gonna go to their graves thinking there were death panels. It was an idea that Sarah Palin pulled out of her pretty little butt. Death panels was an idea that Sarah Palin pulled out of her pretty little butt and then believed. So help me God, the right can do this. Oh, 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 oh. Not talking about right wingers who are just like a kind of a palimpsest of illusions. The right in America today are just, well, like I say, they, they can pull stuff out of their and then the right can pull stuff out of their and I'm just telling you. <laughs> so, you know, laying them aside, but even like more or less normal, decent people, laying the right aside, we are left with normal, decent people. They think there's a recovery. There isn't. Uh, they think drone attacks are killing only the right people, and they're not. They think Obama is a Democrat, and he's not really. I'll admit he's posing as one, but he is so obviously a neocon posing as a centrist Democrat. Okay. As Gregor Sansa awoke one morning from troubled dreams, he realized, Oh my god, I'm living in a land of hallucination. It's June 7th, 2012. After three years of Obama, the rich are richer than ever. No! There's more poverty than ever. No! Income inequality is greater than ever. The military and the government are more bloated than ever. We're killing more people with drones than ever. Innocent people might I know. Hallucinations aside. Yeah. Hallucinations aside. What the hell was that? Too big to fail is worse than ever. Income disparity is worse than ever. The military is bigger than ever. People are more pessimistic about America's future than ever. After three years of Obama, people are more cynical about government than ever. Coincidence? After three some years of Obama, everyone in America is sick to death of being called the racist by those old part bastards! And I say that with love. After three years of Obama, people are leaving the Democratic Party in droves. After three years of Obama, people are more pessimistic about America's future than ever. Relations with Arab nations are more strained than ever. Obama is prosecuting whistleblowers worse than any president ever. This means Obama has turned to the dark side. Obama sits in his dank and spider-infested, mossy, mucoid cell every day, going over his personal kill list in the apparent belief that he has the right to kill people without due process. The man is mad as a hatter. He's gone completely perverted. I'm not saying the man is mad as a hatter and has completely gone power mad, but he does sit up late at night, poring over his list of people. He decides we'll die. Obama decides he'll die. Oh no, nightmare. It's, it's like, like a civil, civil rights, rights, human rights, rights nightmare. It's like total warfare. It's like neocon city. Arrgh! I can't help but notice, after three some years of Obama, we have a Republican everything. Okay. I can't help but notice, after three some years of Obama, we have a Republican health care law, an unpopular Republican health care law, which was spawned by the Foul Heritage Foundation. What? 
Uh, Republican foreign policy. Uh, 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 uh. Hey, here's something you, you may believe that's not true, another hallucination, if you will. And that is that Republicans never give Obama credit for anything. Have you heard that one? Well, that's, that's a fairly common thing you hear repeated. And I guess they're trying to make it come true. Is that weird? It's kind of like magical thinking. Well, in fact, neocons and, and right-wing folks <laughs> are giving Obama all kinds of credit uh, for his foreign policy. His foreign policy really is uh, much approved of by neocons, and why not? It's completely evil, completely illegal, and, well, it's almost like power madness. It's almost like Inside Obama's head, he has become the great emperor who sneaks into his mutoid, smelly little spider infested, snotty little den with a guttering candle next to him, and decides who lives and dies. Who better than me, Barack Obama, who decides who lives and dies? Oh, ah. This, my friends, is sheer madness. It is part of Hallucination Nation. My God, what a nightmare. Obama could have ended the embargo with Cuba. Obama could have recognized Palestine. Obama could have passed a real stimulus without the tax cuts. Obama could have closed Guantanamo. Obama could have ended the Bush tax cuts. Obama could have truly reformed health care. Obama could have moved toward election finance reform. Obama could have used his election support to make progressive change. Obama could have investigated and prosecuted Bush Cheney as he damn well should have done. Obama should have investigated and prosecuted the Wall Street Brigade. Obama could have earned his Nobel Prize. Obama has escalated wars more than Bush. Obama has continued the abrogation of habeas corpus just like Bush. Obama has continued military tribunal just like Bush. Obama has continued rendition to countries that torture just like Bush. Obama has continued Bush's tarp program to transfer money from the poor middle class to unaccountable banksters. Goes on and on. It's those movies. And you probably think we're in a democracy. You probably think we're in a... In a <laughs> I blame the movies. Even though I watch them too. But uh, uh, you do believe some things that are simply and, and kind of easily checked out, okay? <laughs> Uh, you can you can check them out in this age of the internet. At least at this time, you can check them out. Uh, I hope you uh, know we're an empire. We are an empire, but you know, normal people, good people, uh, we don't hear that we're an empire, do we? We hear that we have interests everywhere. Let's just say we have interests everywhere. We are in. We have troops in hundreds of countries. We have troops where there are no countries. And these troops do those countries no good. Okay? It's just a big fat empire. All right, I'm a member. I guess I'm a citizen of this empire. But we are a big fat empire. And it kind of drives me nuts sometimes <laughs> to see that normal, reasonable people I think we're not. You know, they deny that we're an empire. Come on, man. You know, we spend more money on our military than all the rest of the world and the planet Logar in the bargain. <laughs> we, we are just spending all that money. It's all going overseas. We have troops everywhere. And you can be accused of, of treason for even talking about stopping this insane spending spree on the military, which has been going on since forever. Woo! Woo! And I, I don't know, I just, I get the impression that y'all believe we're not an empire. Oh, come on now, what more do you need? Here's another thing that's kind of sad. Empires tend to destroy democracy in the home country. Oh. Let's just say the United States is an empire 
it has been said by wise people that you cannot have an empire abroad and democracy at home. You just doesn't seem to work. Okay? Now that kind of backs up my story that we're an empire because we most certainly have lost our rights of late, lost our rights under President Obama. The guy with the kill list. Obama, like a man living in a complete hallucination, mad as a hatter, to be completely mad by power, goes into his spider infested den in the dark of night, a guttering candle at his side, and he pours over his kill list. This guy pretends to be a Democrat. He goes into his little dank, moth-eaten, mossy, snotty, mucusy, pukey, spindly. He goes into his study. He personally goes over his kill list. Emperor! Oh my god, the man's an emperor! He has gone power So, uh, a Democrat doesn't go pouring over his kill list. <laughs> this is Barack Obama. <laughs> I'm going over my kill list. <laughs> they bought it. They bought it. <laughs> satire. Satire, Your Honor. Yeah, satire in that book. Okay? I don't know what that was. That was so intense. I don't know what that was, but it was great, right? Look. I am, I, I'm just here to throw aside some illusions. That's why I'm here, and that's why I'm not on network or cable TV or making big bucks. Because the money all wants you to believe one thing, and it's false. Capitalists have gotten their talons into reality and destroyed it. You see, they've kind of replaced reality with an illusion. The drone strikes are killing innocent people. We are killing innocent people. Do you know what these guys do? They're breaking the law. The drone strikes are bloody against the law. All right? They are just murders committed by these machines. I'm sorry. Democrats are going to have to wake up to that someday, or I'm never going to speak to them again. Bloody stupid Democrats. <coughs> 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 Starts are killing innocent people every day, you fools. It doesn't matter that an alleged Democrat is doing it. Ah, ooh, ah, ooh, ah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I almost killed you. It is an illusion, among other things, that there, there is a, an economic recovery. And as corroboration, I would like to cite economist Paul Krugman. Hello. This is Perry Logan's satiric version of Paul Krugman. Paul Krugman really is an economist who has forgotten more about economics than you and I will ever know. And I have written a book called Stop This Depression, which points out that we're in a depression. How crazy can you be? <laughs> there you go. A satiric version of a real guy who has written a real book is Paul Krugman. Right? <laughs> okay. And uh, he, it's called Stop This Depression. That's a real economist who agrees with me. Thought I'd better point that out. <laughs> it's not just guys who dance around and play the pencil. It's a real economist, Paul Krugman. Stop This Depression. Yeah. Available at your library. Uh, we're in a depression is all I'm saying and, and you think otherwise because you have heard otherwise endlessly. It's as simple as that, okay? Huh. It's as simple as that. <sighs> too many movies, my friend. <laughs> I get so choked up. Uh, you've been watching too many movies and you've lost track of the distinction between reality and illusion. I said reality and illusion. You have lost track of the distinction between reality and, and illusion, and I'm not screwing with you. I'm not screwing with you.
Uh, you can verify this stuff yourself. We're in a depression, a depression, an economic depression. What else do I need to say except the poverty rate is now at a 30-year high? No, really. The poverty rate is now at a 30-year high. That's after three years of Barack Obama. Uh, get out of my party. So, I got political. Get out of my party, Barack Obama. The poverty rate is not supposed to go up under Democrats. So this is what I'm saying is that uh, that, that makes for a depression. We're in like all the indicators. Say, for example, long-term unemployment. Black youth unemployment is at a jaw-dropping 42.6%. <laughs> or something pretty close to that. Okay, this is jokes about things that are not necessarily funny. And it is not funny that uh, uh, unemployment rates in the African American American community are at depression era levels, unprecedented levels, even worse than, than the depression. Now, how on earth can you believe that's an economic recovery? We, again, we recently found out that the, uh, the rich, the one percenters, are of course uh, getting all the money that comes from anything that's, that's coming back to life. If there's any signs of life in our economy, guess what? The one percenters are taking it all. They've achieved sort of escape velocity. They're getting even what vestiges of a, of a recovery we have. And of course, there is no recovery. It's a depression, just like Paul Krugman says. And you thought we were having a recovery. I heard you say it. I, I listened to you. You hear people say it all the time. Mm, you know that recovery. <laughs> oh, come on, man. You can talk about a unicorn all day, uh, but there's still no unicorns. Okay? I've written a little song called, You Can Talk About a Unicorn All Day, But There's Still No Unicorns. Your problem is, you have watched too many movies and lost track of reality. And now, Austin and the Hallucination Nation band play Hallucination Nation! Yes, my friends, we are fleeing to the stars just for a moment to take you away from the endless propaganda which bores its way into every American brain. Bores its way into every American brain? No! Yes, bores its way into every American brain. Here's Logar of the planet Logar to explain. Is this thing working? Hello? Hello? This is Logar of the planet Logar. I really wish you people would stop asking me to solve all your bloody problems. <laughs> what a cheesy planet Earth is. You have to come over to me, Logar of the planet Logar, Lord and Master of the great planet Logar in the sovereign solar system of Logar. We Logarians see that you Earthlings, especially you Americans, 
and especially during an election year, are subject to the most intense and repetitious propaganda you ever heard of. And we realize here in Logar, where we are so advanced, that the human brain will start to think something is true if it's been repeated umpteen times. You dig? I said uh, umpteen times. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. And certain things have been repeated umpteen times. I believe Perry Logan was going to tell you about them. But first, I gotta go into that book. Oh, yeah! I know that take such pleasure in going into Perry Logan's magic book. Oh, yeah! <laughs>